if you enjoy my content please subscribe and like to my channel it means so much and it helps me out so much i hope you enjoyed this video hello boys it's time for another video this video will be somewhat different since i will talk about uh, my top five games that i play at the moment these are not the top five best games on Roblox. These are just the top five games that I enjoy at the moment. So these games will change from month to month. Uh, but as of this moment, these are the top five games that I play the most. And I will start from the, uh, from the bottom. And in place five, it's this game. Uh, Sword Legends. They currently have a 444 bonus. Reminds a lot of Saber Sim. And as you can see in the game, the game also reminds a lot about Saber Sim. Since you swing a sword, uh, a sword and you get strength. So, so it's very much the same. And you got a skill, so, so you can jump, and a skill that like swing a little bit weirder. And as you can see, you, you also slice objects. Once everyone on the server has sliced a certain amount, you, you will get that uh, gem party. And with the gems, You buy pets, so <laughs> they're, they're pretty much like like the crowns in uh, Saber Sim. And then you have King of the Hill, that actually doubles your strength per, per swing. It's kind of buggy since it doesn't work every time, but here, here it actually is working. I'm getting quite much at the moment. Uh, I haven't played this game that much I, I will show you I played it for six hours I have six hours in this game uh, but still I made it to the leaderboard after six hours I made it to the total power leaderboard I think we like we should be here ah oh, there 89th I move all my pets there 89 if I played it a bit more, I would so easily be like somewhere up here. Probably not the P1, so, since there will always be someone, someone that is all in on the game, and that I, that I'm not. I just play this game to get a nice change of pace from Saber Sim, uh, and and the pets, they were kind of different. I will show you on the last island. It's like, alright, let's get away. We can sell. Or, oh wait, don't sell. We already have max sabers, as you can see here. We're gonna max everything. And the mastery. So, we are max, and we can buy. Let's buy three eggs then. Uh, and we have to visit our pets. We can remove the worst ones because then we need to equip these. And once we have them equipped, we need to make them hatch. There is a game pass that will hatch them immediately, but I'm not wasting money on that. I did buy some game passes though, like plus pets and stuff. I kind of regret it, uh, but it is what it is and it is done. So I'm going to skip forward until I can hatch the 
all right and we can hatch them it, it actually don't take that long but but you need to uh, all right that was the real one I don't know another one a ah, common uh let's look at the drop chances here they're here legendary a legendary would be nice but it's only three percent so uh all right do we have those were actually pretty good i don't I haven't made one uh, giant yet, but anyway, so so that's pretty much this game. You, you slice and it, it's it's like saber sim all over again, but with some changes, um, and it's not all that bad. I actually quite enjoy it since it's a nice change of pace, but yeah, you could just stick the saber, I guess. Uh, all right and the next game on my list in place four is the bubble gum simulator uh, I don't entirely get this game uh, the only thing I do is like I hatch pets and I hatch pets all the time um, and other from that I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do <laughs> Uh, I mean, I do run around here in the Christmas event. Since I get a few, all right, we can buy buy two max levels. That's nice. And then I like run around here, and then I return home. And since uh, the best pets in the game can be found here now. I guess this is where I should be like 100% of my time. Um, I do have a few game passes for this too. Uh, so, and, and it actually feels like a pretty good game. Uh, but I just need to figure out what, what there is to do. I just don't want to stay here and open pets, and that's the game. <laughs> I want some something more, something more of a challenge. Uh, and I'm not sure if this game offers or not. <clears throat> I will have to find out. So I, I need to give this game a little bit more time. Um, so yeah, if, if there's anything I should know about this game, please comment in the comment section so, so I know, like, what should I do beside hatching pets? Because the game can't just be pets, right? But you never know. <laughs> Alright, the number three is actually Saber Sim. Uh, I still enjoy this game from time to time, um, but it's just that nothing like happens. Um, all you get each week is a new set of sabers, a new max class, some new pets, and an aura. And the sabers are so cheap. I mean, I had to kill the boss two times uh, today, and then just stay on island 73 which is the new one and then i was done i had max sabers i had max class i had the new auras and and it's not fun if we're like done with the new update in 15 minutes um that ruins the game a bit for me uh, i need more of a challenge like some weeks they have made it saber prices so that uh, it took me like 10 hours 
to go from uh, ranking up to get in the new stables. I think 10 hours for a grinder is somewhat good. Uh, it, it feels more balanced. Since then a more casual player could do it in like 2-3 days. And that definitely feels like a good uh, time, time frame. <clears throat> I don't think everyone should be like Max Sabres w within a day. Then it's just broken. But, but the way this game has been heading lately, um, nothing surprised me. They've been giving away OP pets for, for free and they're just making this game so easy. That is dropping on my list. This used to be my favorite game, but now it's like P3. Um, we'll see what future update brings, uh, but I'm not sure it will ever be as good as it was since, since I'm hearing reports that the dev team is focusing on Arcade Simulator, which isn't that good of a game actually. So we'll see. It is what it is, but but I hope this game gets more fun in the in the end. All right, and number two on my list is actually this game, Coin Hero Simulator. Uh, I don't know why I keep coming back to it, since all you have to do is like run around using your skills to collect these coins. And that's all you do, uh, and you will open new zones. Like, I have opened all of these zones uh, for now. I, I have one island left that requires me to be a level 70. So, it, it will take a little bit more time. Uh, and what else you do is like you open <laughs> eggs for pets. Like in every other game, basically. Uh, I'm playing this game since I want to beat it without spending any money on it, which I haven't done so far. I'm completely free, uh, but this game seems so much pay to win. I, I will show you why. Uh, like, my pets gives me 800 times. Alright. That's not that bad, but if you buy this pet for almost 3,000 Robux, it will give you 100,000 multiplier. That's more than 100 times better than my current best pet. And if that isn't pay to win, then I don't know what is. Uh, and the leaderboards here are so bad. I mean, server's top rank, server's top level, who, who cares about your server? Uh, and then the world leaderboard is like a top time. Who cares who will play the game most, min most minutes? And, and who cares who have opened the most eggs? They should be like, who has the most, most coins? But no. Uh, so, so this is a game that I currently play a lot only to beat it. So yeah, once I'm done with it, I w will likely not play it anymore. But but it does take, take up a lot of time at the moment, since I want to beat it without spending money on it, as I said. Um, and it should be doable, like, I only need four more levels, and I can go to the, to the last island, and then I would just call it. I could chase the, the the ranks, but as you can see, there is a lot of ranks here. Uh, and, and without the 100k pet, I don't think that's doable. So this game is unfortunately a little bit pay to win. But I still want to beat it. Alright, so my number one game at the moment can't be a surprise to anyone that follows me. It's Nina Legends 2. We're top three in the elements. 
leaderboard. We're only beaten by a Korea guy and Misha, who is a well-known legend from SaberSim. So we're doing pretty good here. Mostly because Maddie uh, gifted us a few packs, which I am so thankful for. But there's still so much grinding behind it. And the reason why I keep coming back is because this game is new and there is so much to do. You can see the boss here. Let's go and hit him. He actually fights back and he gives you pet experience. He gives you some shards for pets and he drops tokens and he fights back. He's a so much better boss than on Saber Sim, for example. Look here. And then we have these different training areas and also a volcano that that will give you pet experience and also some nice amount of shards especially in the beginning when, when you need shards uh, then you have different islands and you have you also have um, daily quests and quests to do like on a weekly basis, daily basis, and then you have story quest. They're kind of hard, especially like this one. Earn a 3.8 element. Like, I have earned one, and I'm P3 on the leaderboard, so, so that will take time. Um, and there is a lot more things to come. Like, I think it was here. Yeah, Squalls, coming soon. And... And Powers. They, they will also come soon. Like, next update, Powers. I can't wait for that. Um, so, this game will only improve from here, I think. And to get to where I am on the leaderboard, I spent so much time... Like here. Do -do. This is where I spend my time since I get a uh, six times elements bonus. I think I do closer to 1.1 1 .1, uh, than just one. Uh, at least it feels that way. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so, yeah, th that's my top five games at the moment. I'll play Sword Simulator the least, and then it's Bubblegum Simulator. I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm trying to get hold of that game. Uh, and in third place, it's still Saber Simulator. But it can go down if, if they keep making these uh, small updates. And on second place, it's Coin Hero Simulator. I won't play that game anymore after I beat it. And then it's Nina Linus 2, which I think will be my most played game for a while. It has been out for like a week. And I have played it 12,000 uh, minutes. So, so we'll see. But, but this game is my top one at the moment. If there's any game you think I should play, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.